All right, there. Your old mate Yorkie here. Once again, take me off with another episode of My Humble Opinion, where I give you the, my view of the games on the monthly Humble Choice Bundle. These are just 5 to 30 minutes. Let's try to see if I want to go further with them. Right now, the final game I'll be doing from October 2023 monthly Humble Choice Bundle is Rebel Inc. Let's go. Who play the tutorial? Learn how to stabilize the region and win out, or learn how about insurgents and how to contain them. The decades of war, foreign interference and political appeal. Up to stabilize the region. The operation is called Hopeful Dawn. You can choose your own operation name when you start the game. First set up your HQ in the in uh, indicated zone. Click on the HQ. Ability bar shows you how you're doing. Reach 100% ability to win. This is your reputation bar. Uh, it shows the reputation of your operation. False zero, you lose. Ability depends on having supporters. Gain more supporters by winning the hearts and minds of the people. See how many supporters you have. Uh, and how many people don't like you. Yeah, there's a lot more don't like me. You're not very really popular at the moment. I've noticed that. To get more supporters, you need to go to operation. Uh, civilian initiatives. Here, you choose the initiative support you uh, to increase support level. Click here to access different services initiatives. One here, it will cost two. Services discussions. Work with local people to understand their education on health, water, and sanitation. Now you can access water supply. Provide minimum standard of clean drinking water for communities. Increase support level. Special most hostile population. Here you can see your support level has slightly increased. Initiatives apply to the whole region that are rolled out over time, zone by zone. See how much money you've got left? 43. Three months you'll receive more funds. Click on the X. Hammer show your team's hard at work rolling out your initiative. Hammers? What hammers? Oh, right there. There are a number of zones in the region. Select this one to get more information about it. This one? Okay. This zone is called Echo Vector. You can see how stable the zone is. Very unstable. Uh, and how many supporters there are here. Improved water supplies will win more supporters over time. As it stands, there are plenty of zones around the region which you don't have. Intel on you. Click here. Alpha Tango, you do not have Intel on this zone yet. Intel lets you see what's happening in the zone and increase your effectiveness. Some initiatives let you gather Intel. Go to operations. <coughs> Government. Through the effectiveness of your operation. <coughs> Provide Intel and show a slow the spread of insurgent control. District representatives initiative will gather Intel. Great work. <coughs> Funding a lot of similar initiatives quickly caused a lot of inflation. This makes everything cost more. If inflation gets too high, you can wait for it to subside or fund initiatives in different areas. Click the X button. Okay. Keep an eye on inflation level 1%. It's acceptable. About 200 people almost killed in Mozambique. Funding initiatives causes corruption, which will become a huge problem if you don't address it. Let's go to operations. Uh, Funding initiatives are risk. Uh, yeah, we, we've been told that. As corruption increases over time, it reduces support level. Government initiatives, still, that's inflation if we do that. Anti-corruption will help reduce the risk of corruption over time. 12 cost. Great work. Corruption risk will reduce over time. Tap the X. Good. Keep an eye on corruption levels here. This so now we know there's enough supporters to become stable. This has been sped up in the tutorial. Remember you win the game when you reach 100% stability. 
Congratulations, you've successfully completed the civilian tutorial. Okay. Okay. Complete your training by taking the military. Yep, we'll have a look at that. To 100% stabilize the region, you will need to effectively deal with the threat of insurgents. Insurgents have been detected in this zone. They represent the Red Diamond. Insurgents prevent the zone being stabilized. And if you don't do something, they will take control of the zone. The insurgents now control the zone. Oh! Uh, reducing your reputation. You will need to use soldiers to force them out and take control back. We have a soldier unit uh, already deployed here. It can help us deal with the insurgents up to the north. Click the soldier unit and send it up there. The soldier unit will now travel to the zone. Wait until it gets there. Good, now let's see how the battle unfolds. Soldiers have begun fighting the insurgents. The combat bar shows how they're progressing. The insurgents have dug in and your soldier unit will struggle to win the fight. Uh oh. Fortunately, it's possible to provide combat support. Go to uh, Operation HQ, go to military. You need more boots on the ground, so request deployment of, uh, co of coalition soldiers. Let's do that and click the X. This is your soldier unit in training. It takes little time for your coalition soldiers to prepare. And we go there and send it. Watch how combat goes. They're running! Look, the insurgents are fleeing away from combat and also into a neighbouring zone. Insurgents will always try to flee when defeated. In order to destroy them, you must surround them and cut off all escape routes. Insurgents have fled, but you have them trapped. The river prevents them going uh, south, and two garrisons have been uh, built in this tutorial. Cop insurgents are escaping into the mountain. So if we send that there, they can't come back. Well done, the insurgents in the zone have been defeated, and they, as they couldn't escape to another zone. Insurgency activity can significantly damage your reputation, especially if they capture high population areas. Be careful, if your reputation falls to zero, you'll lose the game. Important, remember to surround insurgents to defeat them, otherwise they will keep escaping. And that's the military one done. Congratulations, you've successfully completed the military tutorial. You're now ready for the full campaign. Well, let's try that then, shall we? Campa what's campaign mode? Large-scale sophisticated operation across multiple regions. Whereas if we look at main game... Oh, this is... Uh, main game is just some kind of level-based thing. That's okay. An insurgent threat from the mountains in the northeast threatens these sleepy rural plains. Let's go in and have a go at this. Ah, our leader, the default choice, a reliable pair of hands. Economist, long-term thinker who works to an annual budget. General, senior member of the National Army. Strong advocate for military solutions. A banker, smooth-talking financier, doesn't like spending money. Smuggler, retired black market operator, comfortable with chaos. Warlord. Controversial and ruthless, can call on large personal militia. Tank commander, big believer in tanks, likes to crush enemies with heavy armour. Development Director, Skilled Micromanager, Prioritizes Zones for Development. Uh, billionaire, why is that? Oh, that's uh, included in Dollar, okay, that's a DLC one. We'll go Civil Servant, we'll go with the basic. Uh, we've got no advisor, click to select. Get a journalist, that's fine. Oh, they're currently locked, okay. So I literally can't do anything by the look of it. Okay, I can't do anything just now. I've just got me. Uh, I'll take a casual one because it's the first time I've ever tried this. And this is just a... A look at how the game runs, basically. Easy to engage locals, corruption slowed by positive thinking, insurgents struggle to cooperate.
Name your operation. Petrol. Red Dragon, why not? That works. Actually, no. Mad Chihuahua. What? No, I said Mad Chihuahua. Oh, I do it to the bottom, do I? Welcome to Saffron Field. The invasion is over and combat forces have been withdrawn. Despite intel, hopes have changed. Uh, the region is unstable. Population feels neglected. The local government has asked you to lead an operation to stabilize the region. You have full uh, responsibility for all civilian and military matters. This will be the central civilian military uh, headquarters for Operation Mad Chihuahua. Choose the location for your HQ. Transport links are helpful. Then press the button. But do that. This looks like it might be uh, equipped with roads and is that rail? Although that does seem to have a lot of stuff. Oh, hang on, what about this? Alpha vector. No intel. It's got a city. Got roads and stuff. We'll take that. Right. The wind stabilizes 100% of the region. The stability bar on the top of the screen shows your progress. And number of supporters. Fund initiatives to increase your support level when supporters across the region. Right. Uh, civilian, first off. Services. We will get that. Government, what do we have? Anti corruption. That's fine. Military is locked. School regeneration rehabilitates existing school buildings and provides staff and community. This support level, especially among hostile, fast to roll out. Get that? Government, we should do some intel. Let's do some intel there if we can. It. The reputation bar shows how long until you lose. Uh, how much you have left. It's normal for your reputation to increase over time, but if you drop zero, you lose. Alright. How are we doing here? Corruption risk is doing okay. What do we have here? Medical supplies establish a medical uh, supply network. Port level, especially amongst hostiles. Development discussions work with local people to understand their economic, business, and jobs requirements. We've got uh, infrastructure discussions. Basic sanitation. If you should move to different parts of the region, we'll do that. Macho receives funds every month. Your budget is based on reputation, number of zones you have stabilised. Your superiors need confidence in your ability to get the job done. Government. this one. Regional sensors collate detailed social political data on populations and zones. 
that's fine. PR office, I think that'll be fine too. Have a look at civilian. Development discussions. Vocational training. Uh, develop training and apprenticeship programs. Upskill works and provide access to broad range. A lot of hostiles though still, don't I? What about the infrastructure? That would be better with different zones. Uh, let's get some medical supplies on the job. Well, we're increasing with uh, total supporters. Oh, it looks like we're building up all over. I, don't, I guess we don't have to target individuals. This it just spreads. That's also unstable, but... Insurgency room at military initiative authorised. Insurgents are preparing to attack other region. Right then, let's get some military on the go. Lloyd Coalition Soldiers 1, request temporary deployment of an international coalition soldier unit. Blue colour. Fast and effective in combat, but can antagonise local population. Interpreters and guides, embed interpreters and local guides within each soldier unit. To help them communicate with local communities. I need to reduce corruption. <coughs> Soldier training on left of screen. Excuse me, soldier being strained, you can see their progress and deployment token on the left of the screen when they're ready. Deploy by dragging them into the zone. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't mean to cough on you. Let me mute this while I get overcome this throat. Your soldier unit has been deployed to the zone, you can drag the soldier unit to move it to a different zone. <laughs> Insurgent reported uh, attacking Foxtrot Lima and preventing stability. I've done hindered. Okay, so they're up there. Them over there. Let's see if we can get uh, else with the military. Airstrikes authorised, airstrikes and bombing runs against insurgent fighters. Significant combat bonus to soldiers, warning civilian casualties are possible. I don't like that. Human terrain. Uh, could get that. What's this? On oh, interpreters and guides. Civil, uh, civil assistance. Allow soldiers to help out local communities. Yes. Yes, we want them to build up our, uh, our allegiances. Be friendly. Corruption's still a threat. 
Let's uh, effective procurement. procurement. I don't local untrained citizens in order to keep the peace, improve stone security, making it hard for insurgents to take control. Increase the poly, but I don't want to do that. Uh, foreign relations. Possible. Urban outreach. Speed that up. Doesn't say it's a negative anywhere, so that's fine. Brilliant. Literacy drive. Fast are all out. What's this? Livestock development. Yeah, we, we're not there yet. Head of water. Actually, basic, no, we've got basic sanitation. There's school supplies. Yep, we want school supplies. I want them to be educated. Insurgents engaged in Foxtrot Lima. Our soldiers are fighting to defend, uh, defeat the insurgents in the zone. The bar shows how the battle is going. Placing soldiers in the adjacent zones increases your strength and helps stop insurgents escaping. Okay, so... Oh, wait, did I pause it? I did, I paused it. Alright. Military. National soldiers. Slowly train a permanent national soldier unit. Slower and weaker than coalition soldiers, but much less likely to cause an antagonism. Fine. If I can get another coalition unit out, I will. For nine. Tree. Significant reduction in disease outbreaks. Machiwawa is overseeing improvements in sanitation facilities, figuring a 48% decrease in the spread of diseases such as cholera and typhoid. Nice. Insurgent takeover of Foxtrot Juliet. Oh dear. Uh, reduce reputation over time, and not for long it won't. Get them there. Alright, you're coming down here. You're coming here. Merchants escape to Golf Papa. Insurgents always try to escape to neighbouring zones. Uh, when they are beaten to destroy them, surround them, okay? I need another... National one as well. They've got that at the moment, but we will take it back. Bravo! Uniform is now stable! Good. Warning insurgents escaping from our soldiers, are they? Sure about that. Warning! Corruption rising! Time to get that under control. Government, corruption. Get it stamped down a bit. What's this? Charities prepared to help. A number of major charities and NGOs are prepared to work with Machiwawa to stabilize the region. How will you uh, how will you allow them to participate? Uh, allow charities to operate without restrictions. They will provide free initiatives over time, but which one will significantly increase? No. Give them some limited. That's fine. Good, they can't go there now. Move 
them there. What's this? Refugee crisis predicted. More and more people are becoming displaced from their homes due to the ongoing conflict around the country. I will match you, I will respond. I will prepare land. Match your decisions offer opportunities for unethical people to illegally enrich themselves. Increase corruption. We'll, de we'll defeat it over time, don't worry. Once these are out, we can send them in there. And the only place we'll escape to is there. What's this? Foreign rivals spawning insurgents. Uh oh. It's becoming increasingly clear that the foreign country is trying to destabilize the region. They're providing the insurgents with significant support in the form of manpower and funding. How should we respond? His foreign relations office. Okay, get that. Publicly accuse. 100% chance accusation back there. Use deniable assets to attack and destabilize the rival country to prevent it. Plus 8 damage uh, diplomatic relations. Ah, we'll, we'll just do that, it's not going to work well. Our diplomatic relations with the rival country decreased significantly, and intelligence suggests that it has significantly increased level of support for insurgents. That's not good. That's not good. Literary rate so good. Military, we'll get a third one of these. Refugees being rehoused in Charlie Romeo. Fine. School expansion completed by charity, lovely. You can come in there now. They're fleeing. You can go there. Stop them getting... Oh, the river stops them there, doesn't it? You can go there. We should have them fenced in now. Towards the coalition soldier deployment over soon. Being pressured to send the soldiers back home. Soon you'll have to choose whether to sacrifice reputation. Ooh, I just want to get these wiped out first. Got them done. Get them in. Another war distracts coalition. Coalition is having to divert resources to deal with the war in another country. It's one that we should make use of coalition force while we can. We are doing. What's this? Coalition soldier tour of duty over. Alright, send them home. Prize attack on Echo Tango. Oh god, we've got more of them down here. Uh, we need more military. Buy that. We'll buy that too. What do we have here? Anti IED vehicle upgrade. Uh, national travel logistics provide four wheel drive vehicle and personal carriers for national soldiers, enabling them to move at significantly faster. We'll take that. Got corruption going on. That's fine. What's this? Unofficial contact with insurgent leaders. You have an opportunity to establish contact with the insurgent leaders in the region. What should match you? I would do. Screw it. We'll get some support. 
Find and destroy insurgent camps. Yeah, that's fine and all, but we're kind of weak at the moment. Okay, we've got them. Down there. Down there. Actually, no. There. There. And there. Wipe them out. Angry about coalition soldiers. Oh, dear. As we get more of our own, we don't need the coalitions, but right now, we really do. What's this? Coalition withdraw soldiers. Can't do anything about it. Threaten high population area in Echo Whiskey. This. More soldiers need to I know! They're out of control here. down good let's get some civilian on watch out for inflation yeah them there. Move them there. Move them there. Surgeon Street take Fox Drop Mike. Not good. Oh, that's the mountains. That's okay. You can live with that right now. Insurgent threat increasing. Actually, doing anything. Coalition provide new soldier units to replace the one that's been okay, good. Uh, right there. Insurgent camp discovered. We discovered the coordinates of the insurgent camp in Echo Tango, which has been launching attacks in surrounding zones. New soldiers and airstrikes to destroy it immediately. I've gone on longer than 30 minutes, which is uh, what I try and do. Um, so I'm going to stop there. I'm liking this game. This is a win for me. Uh, graphically, it is not exactly stunning, let's face it. Uh, but it's not intended to be. Music is quite satisfactory. Yeah, the uh, game's graphics and sound aren't really the point. The sound is quite satisfactory. I'm going to give it a 7 or 8 now. 10. 6 is my basic does the job but no more. Graphics I'm only going to give a 6, maybe a 6.5. They're not really more than they need to be. But that's not the point. 
the world is interesting. You've got the NGOs, you've got the um, insurgents, you've got, you've got all kinds of things going on, you've got other countries, uh, you've got little messages coming up about uh, different parts of the world, etc. It's very reminiscent of Plague Inc. Um, and it look, it, it's got an interesting world to it for this kind of game. So I'm going to give that an 8. The gameplay, from what I've seen so far, and I know I've only done the very minor start of it, is good. Um, I like it. I really like it. This is an 8 or a 9 for gameplay for this kind of game. Um, so for me, this is a winner. Is it worth a book fifty? Does it pay for its slot on Humble Bundle? Of course it does. Is it worth twelve bucks? Yeah. I mean, uh, what's the actual cost of it? Let me just have a look here. Just flipping back to Humble. It's fifteen dollars, so it's only just more than the cost of Humble Bundle. But it's still a saving of three bucks. So yeah, it's worth it. Um, and it's certainly worth the fifteen dollars. It's certainly worth the cost of a cheap indie game. Will it come to channel? Or will I play it anymore? Here's the thing. I really like the game. I could very much enjoy playing it, I think. But for me to bring this to channel, I've got other things I've played for myself, so I probably won't get to it. And to bring it to channel, I just need to know there's interest. So if there's a few likes, uh, maybe a couple of comments, uh, a significant number of views for what I get on uh, this, which is only going to be a few. Then I will look into bringing it to the channel sometime. How far we'll go, I don't know. That depends if we bring it. But I am very down if there's an interest in this to play it. It looks good. It really looks good. Even if I am struggling with the insurgents. Any road up. That's my uh, view of this. Let's flick back to my humble opinion overview. This is the Monster Humble Bundle, let's have a look. The Quarry, winner. Metal Helsinger, minor win, I probably won't go any further with it. I enjoyed my trip there, but it's so far outside my skill and wheel area, my skill and interest area generally, I probably won't go further. House of Asterius, winner, coming to channel at some point. Rebel Inc, winner, can come to channel. Spirit of the Island, I didn't go back to it, I tried it before and wasn't interested. I hope someone picks up the key and enjoyed it. Lords and Villains, minor winner, can come to channel, could be a major winner. Juggler's Tale, minor winner for me, it's outside my real area, outside my uh, my area of interest. Um, but, it's my turn to it. If there were a request for it, I would consider bringing it to channel. It's really not what the channel does, but it seemed an interesting enough game to, to try. Mr. Prepper, for me, is a fail. Now, I know it's popular, I know it's highly rated, I'm not arguing with that. This is my humble opinion, I'm humble enough to know my opinion doesn't count for shit. Um, it just didn't feel right to me. It just didn't work for me. Some games don't work for everyone. But overall, I'd say this is a winner winner chicken dinner. With win, win, uh, sorry, win, 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 possible win, possible win, minor win fails. That's what you call a good deal. For 12 bucks, that's what you call a good deal. Alright, hit the like, comment, subscribe if you want the channel to grow. I'll see you around.